I speak to some people in my industry and I think some people are very doom and gloom. Um, I think they think in 10 years time there's not going to be much of an industry and that's a possibility. My name's Charlie Blewett, I am a special effects practical artist. Um, I deal with prosthetics, prosthetics makeup artist, model making, um, as well as some costume making. In some aspects, I, I think it's still very early days with, with the with the new technologies coming in we don't quite know exactly how they can be used in how many areas of practical effects for armor for robots for symmetry it's absolutely fantastic but when you're talking about doing things like prosthetics things with complete asymmetry um it's still 3d scanning and printing isn't so reliable and it's not so much used for that you know I, i've heard for years actors being frustrated by having to come on set having to act on green screens having to act in front of people wearing green suits with a table tennis ball two foot above their head for an eye line of where to look the, these people are actors yes but they're having to act everything and when you put a properly designed beautiful set in front of someone when you put the actual monster in front of someone you get real reactions you know it just seems more real that the eye lines are perfect you know people are looking into each other's eyes um and it's for for me i've got a, a lot of friends working stalls at the moment and just seeing some of the amazing stuff that they're being allowed to make and the budget that they're being given to do so um it's it's uplifting for people in the industry i i think they've always wondered where their jobs would be in 10 years time well they'll be in 20 years time and 10 years ago a lot of people thought there wouldn't be much work today and that's just not the case um, but it's kind of like moving forward, it's apprehension. You you don't quite know how the two are going to blend together. To say the truth, my career, I've been up and down with it. At the times, in, in our industry, we call it the dark side. Um, we want to turn to the dark side. And I'm always going to favour practical effects. I, I think there's something tangible about practical effects. I think when you're creating something robotic, that there's a lack of soul there. Um, when you're creating something organic that every wrinkle, every skin pore, it's the, just the slightest change, the wrinkle, wherever you put it, it says something about the character and we're able to create life casts a lot quicker. Um, not just that, that you have technicians that are using chemicals that are toxic, uh, can be a little bit hazardous, um, not just to their lungs but also to their skin and the digital technology is basically making the workshop in areas just a little bit safer. Things will get stronger. I think departments will work closer together. I think the technologies will change the way things are done. Um, but to say the truth, I have no plan of changing what I do for a living. I have a plan of maybe embracing 3D printing and scanning a little bit more and doing a little bit more digital model making. Um, but I, I love being in a workshop. I love working that side of things. You know, it's biased, but long live practical effects. And I, I hope the blend with VFX only gets stronger and um, filmmakers for the next decade only introduce more practical effects and get the blend even better. It, it's so important to have good relationships with people in VFX. If you don't get on, then you'll find companies will try and do as much as they can alone. Um, by working together, then yeah, you do bring this integration and that's the beautiful thing that you can see with um, what K and VFX have done in America on The Walking Dead at the moment. Um, the thing with facial prosthetics, you can only add and traditionally you've only ever been able to do that. We're, we're sticking on the skin. Um, you know, we can drag eyelids up, we can bring the lip up and create deformities that we can make more natural under a prosthetic, but we can't physically take away. And what the, what the blend can allow us to do is to um, basically create green screen areas of makeups so if we're doing a zombie we can do our traditional zombie but if we want the jaw completely gone and the tongue hanging out down its throat we can basically paint the lower part of the chin green 
that gets then put into post-production and our VFX company of some kind will come in and do the digital modeling over the top of it. The technology and where it's going, I think it, it gives a platform where it gives those people the ability to create what they want to create. And that's what's interesting with it. I've, I've worked in the industry on shows like Doctor Who for probably about 14 years or so. And it's been amazing to see the transition within that time on how CG and VFX have gone up against each other, how it's kind of like leveled off. Um, but technology has greatly changed, but it's interesting to see the creative people from both sides and the way at times they come together. People work very long hours, but they, they work in an industry they love. They, you know, they get up, they live it, they breathe it, they work 100 hour weeks, they go back and they still got a smile on their face. Um, so it's, yeah, it, it is that embrace. I, I had the um, the honour of working on a few days actually on the new Mummy film, Tom Cruise. Mm -hmm. And it, seeing the way that he embraced practical effects on set was was fantastic that he he wanted to push he's, he's not just acting in it he was also producing it and he wanted to push everything to be practical um he wanted the sets to be beautifully made you know huge ambitious sets he wanted the the creatures in it to be practical um and all that side and the the, the more people like that we have in the world, more old school filmmakers like J.J. Abrams that recognise the older Star Wars and how much character and how much charm you got within those creatures compared to CG, um, then for me that's, that's a good thing for the industry. I would love to see directors being able to embrace both. Um, and understand both and push for both to be blended together because I think when both are blended together it's some of the best filmmaking out there um, there's some of the most attractive effects and they're the kind of effects that make me smile when I'm watching them even if it's a film I haven't worked on and I'm looking at them it makes me smile as I realize it's you know it, it's great communication it's blended together and this is effects at its best when you have two departments working together or rather against each other